righteousness and make it unrighteousness. You know, you, you look at the diet of our people, you know? Eating a pig, which is clearly, or a swine, which is clearly against Yahweh Shemel Shah's dietary laws. And he has made that a staple in yeah. Israelite communities. It is a staple, okay? Jake might not have milk, might not have cereal, no grains, no fruit, but Jay got some bacon in the refrigerator, bro. He got some pork chops in the freezer, you know? And he, and he got some old uh, dirty ass shrimp from, from uh, uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Man, you, hey, go, crawfish. you go to Jake restaurants, oh, man. You, you can't eat nothing. Cause the, the corn got pork in it, the beans the got beans. pork in it. You know, they put pork in everything. Gun. Man. Even Issacar, that shit piss you off. Gun. Gun. They, they use lard for their refried beans. Yep, yep. You have to ask the motherfucker, then they act like they don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> right, that's when right. When you ask them. Right. Lord, Lord, Lord yeah. Pork, motherfucker. Oh, right. pork. Oh, yeah, yeah, pork. Yeah, that's pork. You know, but yeah, hey, 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 that, that's how he's not gonna learn wickedness, man. He has to change all those things. He has to defile them. He has to corrupt them, man. You know, all right, scripture say, hey, he knows that he has a short time, man. So he has to do as much damage in the time allotted to him because Esau knows about prophecy, man. He, he, know, he knows he's not gonna be ruling for long, you know, and we know it too. Which is the reason why he's trying to uh, put us in in the sunken place, you know. I, 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 I watched, I watched uh, yeah. Get Out again, man. You know, you watch certain movies, man, and you go back and you rewatch them. You know, yeah, you pick up other clues, yeah, as the brother had said earlier. You know, we don't watch movies just for entertainment value. You know, we look for the spiritual aspect in the movies. And watching it, man, you can clearly see the objective of these damn Edomites is to put our whole nation, as scripture says, uh, what is it? Uh, is it Psalms 83? That did it with, uh, out of how remembrance? Did our nation yeah. came against us? Right. Yeah. How, they, how they want to put the name of Israel yeah, out of true. remembrance? Uh, 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 remembrance? Yeah, I, I got you. Um, yeah, hey, that, that is Esau's whole goal and objective, okay? If you are a, 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 a pants sagging, skinny jeans, you know, uh, blue or blonde hair dyed, you know, uh, non-bearded, uh, effeminate Israelite, Esau's one, bro. Eating pork? Yeah, oh, man, right, bro. Right. Hey, hey, Esau is <laughs> doing the jig, bro. He like, man, we got you. You know, whereas when he saw, I mean, it, it, it completely disrupts his, uh, 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 what is it called? His psyche. It disrupts his psyche. Because when he sees the prophets out there on, on the highways and byways, he's like, hold on. First of all, they're loud. That, mean, that means that they're bold. And if they're bold, that means that, God damn it, I gotta, I gotta shut them up. You know, let's see if I can, let's see if I can tame them. See, see, because hey, scripture talks about how Esau. He, <laughs> scripture talks about how Esau was a cunning hunter. You know, and you got to think about the pride, the psyche of these damn crackers, man. Esau would go out into the middle of a brush in the middle of Africa and hunt down lions and tigers and tame them and put them in his circus. You know? He, he uses that same mentality when he's dealing with you jakes, man. He's like, shit, you ain't nothing. I got, I got tigers on my mantle going back to the movie uh, Get Out. You know? Esau had all types of wild animals all on, on his, uh, what is it called? What is it called? Game room? That's what it's called? When you have all those deers and shit in your goddamn house? Esau called them man caves. Isn't that what it's called? Man caves. No, I'm talking about where, where you shoot all the damn wild animals. It's called a game room. You don't even fucking know. It's called a game room. And the reason why it's called a game room is because you're hunting wild game. Okay? And all of those, uh, that he had on those walls, one of the main ones was an antler or a deer, you know, which represented the Baphomet again. However, what was the prize that Esau was seeking? 
Jake. Yeah, Umar. Uh, do Umar, uh, what is his name? Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Johnson. He he broke that he broke that dip thing down. Is that was Jake, man? Oh, okay. He, he broke. That's why they hit the deer mm -hmm. on the way there, mm -hmm. and then. And she didn't pay no attention to him, but you saw the dude. Right. He went over there and he was fucked with it. Right, con, con, con. And then he brought out the point for Umar Johnson, and it, it just made sense. He the only one I heard break it down like that when he was talking to the uh, old man. Mm -hmm. And the old man said, man, I'm glad y'all hit that yep. there. There's too many of them yep. out here anyway. Yep, yep. Hey, I was talking about Jake, man. <laughs> man. Yeah. Mm, see? And that's why it's funny you said that, because, yeah, they had to be in the game room. Yep. Because Jake, y'all the know to pray the party night. Woo! Remember we just never read that. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Come on, bro. You Jake, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and you Native American are to pray, man. And, yeah, he, saw, he, he looks at he takes it as a game, man. Yep. He prays upon y'all. You know? That's and right. that, was, that was a heavy breakdown, man, because I would have never made that connection, but... When, when he said it, 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 it made sense. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? gone. And then, you know, I mean, hey, that, you know, just just like we had said, man, we go back and we watch, you know, these movies to see the hidden treasures. You gone. know, the, the things we, we might have missed initially. Man, this place is fucking sickening, man. Yeah, man, we got to get up out of here. I so like, you ever seen uh, Bright with Will Smith? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. I still haven't seen it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, but, but yeah, that goes into it too, you know? Clearly, like, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's hella <laughs> obvious. It's like right. prophecy. I'm like, okay. It's, right. They kept saying prophecy. I'm like, man. Of course. Hey, hey, Esau knows, man. Esau knows. He, he, he took those scrolls. He read them. You know, he, oh, yeah. he, he had people dissect them. I mean, hey, how do you think they uh, we, uh, uh, they came up with the strongest concordance? You know, it was like, okay, well, shit, this precept goes that, that way. That's a hell of a work, man. Yeah. That's, a, woo, that's but, what I'm saying. Yeah. But, but but you have to literally, and, and that was a heritage that was passed on. You know, like you just don't say, okay, I'm going to dedicate my life to this. Like, no, you had had to have money in order for your life to be dedicated to it. I had read a little bit in the Strongs. I didn't read the whole thing, wherever the hell it went. But well, yeah, you know, I was I was reading uh, the the preface of it, you know, and and how long it, it actually took to do these things, oh, man. Oh, I didn't know that. How long? Oh, I, 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 I didn't get okay. to it, but you know, I mean, it, it was a mighty work. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's extensive work, man. You know, look look what they say of it. Exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Come on, brother. Come on. You, you go ahead, brother. Oh, uh, you had some will. Oh yeah, you got more in uh, Isaiah, bro. Twenty-four. Okay, come. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord and he got it hot up in here. Uh, yeah, if the, like like we went into, man. Uh, brother had had mentioned Isaiah, uh, not Isaiah, Job nine and twenty-four, and we brought that out. Gun. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Well, what what you think he did with that? <laughs> right. You know? And then the brother mentioned, if the Lord will, we go into that. He mentioned uh, Revelation the twentieth chapter. Gun. Right. He went out to deceive. Mm -hmm. So he put lies in the earth. And now, when it's time for this devil to go down. What is the Heavenly Father doing? Right. He has his servants, the prophets out here, to combat those lies with truth. And what is what is a uh, great millstone? What are we infamous for, man? Right. Going right. into the etymology, the meaning of words. Well, the etymology or the etymon of etymology is truth study. Truth study, that's right. So, right, we study the truth so we can put it out there mm. to tear down what Esau has built up. And with Esau building up this empire of lies, a certain consciousness goes with that. And that consciousness affects everybody out here, man, if you're not in this world. See, that's what this word broke us out of the matrix. But there's a matrix that's out here, man, that's composed of lies. And that's why I don't I don't debate or argue with these people no more, man. Because they're they're indoctrinated with the, with this 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 Edomite's consciousness right. that he puts out. That's why our people, they celebrate Christmas, Easter, right. New Year's. Right. That all come from the devil. That's the way this devil does things. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah didn't set it up that way. And that goes back to what we was reading. He, he changed the, the ordinance. That's right. Changed the laws, mm -hmm. you know? That's right. But now the Heavenly Father is, is setting us up 
to bring back to remembrance those things of righteousness, those old pasts. And we're going we gonna to live like that in the kingdom. But right now, it's tearing down everything that Esau has built. So, uh, yeah, going back. Did you have something, brother? Um, get back to that real quick. Okay. <clears throat> back in Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 6, it says, Therefore had the curse devoured the earth. <laughs> And they that dwell careless, uh, oh, slightly, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, the curse devoured the earth, you know? Yeah, so. um, and that, that curse beginning with these Edomites, man. Yeah. Edomite, Edom in itself is a curse. They are a plague among mankind. And they were not, you know, the earth was given into their hands. So they have devoured the whole entire earth with their curse. Their curse of wickedness, their curse of evil. You know, and it's infected all people. You Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans. The two thirds of you, man, you know, it infected you horribly. And y'all can't see past Esau's um, his, the veil of deceit that he got mm. before your eyes. Mm. Yeah. You know, Jake can't see past that. Right, right, yeah. I mean, I mean, because all those things are, is how he charms people, you know? That, yeah. that, that, that flattery, you know, those smooth words. To bind. Yeah, yeah, gun, you know? But but, but he's doing those things, to, as, as Brother had said, uh, he's trying to take your place. He, he, he He's sitting next to you, you know? But, but uh, what, what was that song? Backstabbers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Smiling in your face. OJ. Yeah. yeah. All, all the time they want to take your place, man. <laughs> right? Hey, that, that's the only reason they're getting close. They, you, yeah. you can't stab nobody in the back from a distance. Yeah, from far away. You know, you got to get real close and then stab them in the back. You know? And, and that's what these crackers do, man. So, yeah, I mean, I want to bring this out uh, for the brother here. This is uh, Daniel chapter 8. I'm going to start at verse 23. It says, And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, once again, <laughs> you know, <laughs> look, when, hey, when, when you kicking back in your rocking chair, you got your pipe, you know, you got your Budweiser, you know, you feel like, guess what, man? We got all the niggers. Okay? It says, and in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce continents and understanding dark sentences shall stand up. Ooh. Man. <laughs> God. Verse 24. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power, and he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper, and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Yep. Pursuing what the brother had said in uh, Revelation 20th chapter, verse 25. And through his policy, also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hands. So who is this talking about? Hmm. No other than you Edomites, man, you devil, because y'all in the craft. Witchcraft, mm. you know? That's what, that's how y'all get down. Mm. Of why the, the Heavenly Father, that was Isaiah 47, say, stand now with thine enchantment. That's right, brother. Because that's how y'all have stood all these years. Mm. You stood on your witchcraft, on your sorcery, you know? Your, your spell casting, yep. you know? Yep. That's how y'all get Jake, man, casting with them spells. Well, yeah, I mean, I, we, we had alluded to the movie Get Out. Yep. How did she get it? With the spells. <laughs> Yeah. Witchcraft, because that was a witch. She was a witch. That you know, all, witch all of them, well, really the whole family were witches and warlocks. You yeah. know, because they, they went into the uh, coagula. Well, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. hey, we, we went into that as well, man. Hey, hey, all of these things are deep, but I ain't mean to cut No, that's brother. beautiful, though, man. That's beautiful. And, it, man, yeah, that movie just spoke volumes, man, to what's taking place with Jack, man. Right here in the here and now, man, on the on the on the uh, national level, Cunt. you know, Jake is being played. 
you know, through the music, through the yep. food, yep. the air, the water, yep. everything, man, it's, it's, it's got witchcraft evil attached to it Kind. to keep you in that slumber that the brother was talking about, mm. you know? They don't want you to wake up. That's why they put fluoride in your water, man. They want to they want to keep your pineal gland calcified. Because your pineal gland is your connection unto higher powers, the most high. You know? That's how he send you them visions at night. Yep. You know? Kind. He probably wants you to tap into that. Tap into that power. You know, that's that's, that's connected with uh uh telepathy. And being being able to uh communicate without speaking. The pineal gland, you know? It, uh, at night, when you sleep, it secretes uh, melatonin. At night, melatonin is a is a healing uh, uh, agent. What, what you call it? You can say agent, but it's a uh, hormone. Okay. That, that gland secrete that hormone through your blood and help repair shit that's, that's fucked up with you. The body self heals. Done. If you give it the, the proper nutrients, right. that's why you start polluting the food. Right, yep, everything you know? is polluting. Nah, it's good. The, the proper herbs and this and that. Yeah, your body is, is, is the Heavenly Father made the body to heal itself. Done. You don't need to run the Esau every time, you know, you get a little cough or, or something go wrong. Well, well yeah, the, the scriptures say uh, the Lord made medicines out of the earth, man. From the earth. You know? Huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, scripture also huh, says, bro. you know, uh, honor the physician, right? But but the, phys the, phys the physician is talking about is your how was shot, man. Uh, it's the ultimate, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. You know, because when you look at who created you, the word physician goes back to what? Physique, your body. Well, who created you? The Lord created you. Why would you go to man that did create you instead of going to the Lord that created you to heal you? You know, because really, ultimately, uh, what the brother said is true uh, as far as sleeping and melatonin. But these scriptures heal you. Okay? Yeah. Ultimately, these scriptures are the greatest benefacting medicine, okay, that heals us. That's right. Okay? Hey, that's right. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 read, read it again. again bro. Bro. This is Daniel chapter 8, verse 24. Salakia 25 says, and through his policy, also, because we, we had talked about talking changing. about, by the way, uh -huh. This this speaking on Antiochus the Fourth and mm -hmm. Epiphanes. Gun. So, but but nowadays it's going to these elites who who are ruling the Edomites. <laughs> yeah, what you about to say? Well, yeah, yeah, because you know we we had talked about Antiochus a couple weeks ago. Yeah, we back. went into him. Yeah. yeah, a couple weeks ago. And you know reincarnation is in the Bible. You know, so so yeah. Hey, hey, he might be out here right now, yeah, man. Yeah, I bet you he's somewhere. Right, over. trying to do the same things, man. Uh, uh, destroy and, and Jake. Pastor Tahar said that could be, it might be George W. Bush. Oh, yeah, God. Possible. Yeah. I mean, because they, they whole lineage goes back to them damn Greeks. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, like, they, they, like, like we had said as well a couple weeks back, you know, the, the Greeks and the Romans, Esau loves to talk about and gloat about until you start bringing out that they are attached to the Edomites. You know? See, see, like they want to just be Greeks and Romans, but they don't want to be Greeks and Romans that led all the way back to the Edomites. Go back to Esau. You know? That's right. So, so yeah, that, that was it, brother. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, the policy. So, yeah. yeah, so so the policy goes back to uh, what the brother had read in uh, um, yeah, uh, Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24 about him changing, uh, transgressing the laws and changing the ordin uh, ordinances, ordinances. Yep. you know, through his policy, you know, which is is, is uh, essentially that witchcraft the brother was talking about, man. This is Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policy, okay, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And we just experienced a couple of those, his policy, like Christmas. 
Christmas is witchcraft. Right. But with his policy, oh, let's make it a holiday.